parents, you might want to listen up for this one. The Bibb County School District says they're seeing a drop in attendance and needs their students in school on time. Simone Souble talked to the school district superintendent and a school counselor who say they are fighting for their students' success. The Bibb County School District looked at their end of the year results and wanted to address chronic absenteeism. Chronically absent means missing 10% or more of the school year. And according to the district, that covers 27% of students. Superintendent Dan Sims went live on Facebook Wednesday to talk about ways to improve. I would not be bringing this to the table if it was not a significant issue that we're dealing with right now. Bibb County School Superintendent Dan Sims has put out a call to action. He's asking parents to help get their kids to school on time after noticing a drop in attendance. Barring sickness or emergencies, we need students at school every single day on time for the entire time. Sims encouraged parents to follow four steps. If you have a problem, bring it to the school. Establish night routines for your kids and also morning routines and make school non-negotiable. Students were missing significant days, which translates to missing instruction, missing counseling, missing mentorship, missing the environment, missing the social and emotional uh, growth we're trying to promote within them. And uh, we, we have to turn that around. Mashia Yarber, a counselor at Burdell Hunt Elementary, is trying to turn it around. Our ultimate goal is to educate students, and we just can't, can't do that if they're not here. She realizes kids bring many problems to the classroom. Working with the school's attendance team, she asks families what help they need. Yarber says kids can't learn and grow unless they're present. When they miss one day of instruction, then you multiply that times the additional days that they're missed during the school year is going to have an impact on student achievement. In Macon, Simone Souble, 13 W M A Z News. Superintendent Sims also says parents should be aware of their children's academic progress as well as their safety and also their behavior at school. He says parents should also help students prepare for the standardized tests which are coming up in April.